The Fof soy machines are known to have more than just one of something. And when it comes to bar tacks, like stitch number 48, there's actually quite a few. There's 49 is a decorative bar tack, and so is 50 and 51. So when you start stitching out all your decorative stitches, which we recommend, you will find that there's other ones. There's just not just one. Now with a bar tack, you'll notice when you pick it, it will come up with a length which you can lengthen that out. So as you can see by the machine showing you, you can make that any length you want. So let's just show, see what it looks like at the normal setting. What it's gonna do is just stitch down and back like a little railroad track and then stitch over it. And then it stops. I mean, that's all you get. You get a bar tack. So how nice would that be to reinforce an area where you would be stitching or pulling on or at the bottom of a bag where all the handles come in? Super easy, plus you can make it any length that you want. So on a decorative bar tack, let's do 49. Yep, 49, yep, 49. There we go. Uh, put on the foot that it recommends. It does all the rest of the settings for you. And before you know it, you can have some very fun looking bar tacks. And they're only gonna do it once. So they are, rec they're just gonna stop when they're done. And that's, well, the beauty of this. So you've got a decorative bar tack that has kind of a little uh, arrow to it. And then number 50 is also one. It's a little bit more of a satin stitch. So let's sew that one real quick. So the nice thing is, oh, this one goes back first. Let me see if I went too far off my fabric. Might have just, yep, I think I did, but that's okay. See, this is why you'd wanna sew things out ahead of time. So you know um, if it's gonna go back before it goes forward. So I did run off the edge of the fat, or behind here a little bit. So it got a little distorted. Let's do one more, just so you can really see what that looks like when it's not resisting at the edge of the fabric. Ah, oh, there we go. And again, how nice it is just to let it, it just knows when to stop. So you could use the start stop button too. So you can see that is a really pretty bar tack. And 50, let's just, hey, we're on a roll. Let's just keep on going for bar tacks here. And that's gonna be a little bit of a, it's an X that is stitched out as a full satin stitch. Oh wow, that is really amazing. All right. So then you have an X there. So check out all your stitches. As you can see, they're a lot prettier and adventurous when you ha know what's truly in your machine. So next, let's do some eyelets and some mending stitches.